Hey, thanks for watching Four Color Commentary. I'm Mark Allen, and I'm back with some more promo posters. Just kind of a cool sidebar to the comic book collecting uh, hobby. And, and I know, you know, I've got a stack of these. I showed you a bunch of them about a month ago, maybe a little over a month ago. Uh, I've got a I've got a diamond comics box box full. Uh, I'm surprised in a way that's just one, but a diamond comics box full of promo posters. Uh, nobody will ever have, I mean, you'd have to have a museum to have room enough to put them all or, uh, four or five houses. Okay. But, um, but you know, they're fun to kind of take out and look at every once in a while, or if you've got the energy to, to swap them out on your walls from time to time. But I just wanted to show you a few more and, um, some, just some really beautiful artwork that can be, that can be found on a, um, on a large scale. And uh, so what we have, what I'm going to start with here tonight is um, a uh, poster with uh, great art by John Estes. I believe is who did the cover, cover art here. But this is a Batman uh, Dead Man poster. This is, I'm looking for the date here. This is from a story from a, uh, some work that came out in 1996. Okay, so it's got some years on it. And here's your, uh, here's your idea of of the beautiful art on there you see bats you see uh, you see dead man up there and then you see Batman and so great big poster that uh, actually would um, would look really cool you know in a frame uh, on a wall or in, even just in a poster frame is what I mean not uh, going to uh, someplace like Ziggler's or something like that and get the oh well People in Oklahoma know what Ziggler's is, but it's a very expensive frame shop, okay? Um, and then uh, here's one. Here's one from uh, Marvel Comics, Marvel Knights, back in the day. This was like one of the, this was like the second round of Marvel Knights. Uh, got some beautiful art from a couple of different artists. I used to know the artist's name on these. Um, J.G. Jones does the, uh, well, okay, here they are right here for me. J.G. Jones does the Black Widow art. And uh, Pat Lee does the art with um, Wolverine and Punisher. This is from Marvel Knights, 1999. Let's see if I can get all of that in there. Just a great looking poster there. And uh, sorry, I, I keep peeking out from behind. I want to make sure that the whole thing's making it, you know, in the screen there. So great. Again, the, the story of these posters is, uh, I think I told it last time. I'll probably tell it every time, just as a refresher for those who haven't seen this. But, um, uh, who haven't seen one of these videos before, but uh, Mike McCormick, the owner, proprietor of um, Tulsa, Tulsa Comics, Comics Empire of Tulsa back in the day, uh, he would always have these in his box for years. They were 50 cents a piece and then went up to a buck. That's as expensive as they ever got. This is a great one. I love this one, even though it's computer generated art from the 90s, um, 1996 to be exact. It's Iron Man and Man of War. It's also from a video game, I believe, that was done. And uh, so there's uh, some very cool artwork there. Even though, I mean, it looks very cool, even though it's uh, computer generated from the 90s. <laughs> 90s computer generated. There's a difference between computer, uh, uh, CG generated, you know, CG art and CG art of the 90s. CG art of today and CG art of the 90s. But uh, still a great looking poster, very colorful, it pops. So very cool, very fun there. This one is a little different. This is from a uh, Shazam work you may not be familiar with. It was an all-ages book, all-ages uh, series, I suppose. Um, there's, and there's actually a, uh, down in the bottom corner, there's a uh, dckids.com. Okay, so it's from a, um, uh, from, it's also kind of a promotion for a website. This is from 2008. This is Billy Batson and the Magic of Shazam. I believe this is by uh, the guy, I can't remember his first name, Kunkel. Same guy who did um, Hero Bear and the Kid, I believe. But anyway, here we go. Here's the poster. You have, you have Captain Marvel there. You have Shazam there with the kids. and uh, Just a really neat, you got some, some tiny Titans there, Teen Titans, and, and some great stuff there. Uh, again, I believe that's a Kunkel work. But I'm not for sure. Somebody can uh, check up on that. Uh, one of the, that would be cool to put up in like a uh, kindergarten kindergarten room or something like that. My wife's going back into teaching this next fall. She'll be teaching kindergarten class. 
And uh, that would be a cool poster. I don't know if she'd think so or not, but there you go. Um, okay, this next one, great. Um, just, um, oh, and I forgot the guy's name all of a sudden. Big time Hulk artist uh, from, from years past, from recent years past. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I can't remember his name. But uh, this is a this is a, a poster com uh, with two combined variant uh, covers cover variants made into a poster with the defenders facing off against um, some bad guys there, Terax and Tiger Shark and and uh, Red Hulk and another a magician I don't know. But anyway, what's this artist's name? I can't remember. You guys should know. Beautiful, beautiful poster there. Great stuff and. Um, you know, just a lot of fun to look at. Pick out every once in a while to look at. Now, the danger of these is forgetting how they were folded. There you go. Uh, no matter how and no matter how many I unfold and fold again, I sometimes forget. I have in the past damaged a few really nice posters that way. Sadly, this one I didn't. Okay, so great. Um, what is that artist's name? My goodness. I can't think of it. Okay, here's a little smaller one. This will be a little easier to handle. This is, I believe this is a, uh, just getting a feeling this is an independent work. It is. Okay, this is what I thought. I may have shown one of these last time. This is Garth Ennis' Just a Pilgrim. Uh, maybe an all but forgotten work. Uh, great looking poster though. Mr. Pilgrim has a kind of a, an Old West feel or Western movie poster feel, okay? And um, I read uh, Just a Pilgrim back in the day, enjoyed it, wasn't bad, you know, it was a nice alternative to some of the stuff that was out. Oh, I didn't put a, I didn't give a date on that. Well, I'll go back and do the research. Just a Pilgrim, Garth Ennis. Um, let's see, this one, this is going to be a Marvel poster. I just like pulling these out, and it doesn't bother me. By the way, if this if this um, video didn't get very many hits, the last one got like 11 hits or 11 views. That's okay. This is just fun for me. And it, who knows? Sometimes, some, if 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 I can promote, if I can pro um, produce some videos that somebody actually uh, one day goes, hey, I wonder if I could find a video on any videos on uh, YouTube to find out if there's any promotional posters out there. Well, here you go. This is from 2014. This is an Ant Man. Ant-Man poster, okay? Just so you know, some, some of my family just pulled in, so we'll be having some background noise here in a moment. Big, long poster there, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, there are some, uh, it turns out, there are some videos on YouTube uh, about promotional posters. <laughs> right here, four-color commentary. Okay, yep, here they come. <clears throat> okay, so there's that one. Let's see. We've got, we've got time for a few more here. Um, let's see. What we got here? We got... Oh, this is nice. Now, this is not an artist that's particularly, about, that's particularly one of my favorites. But I did snag this because I, I liked the art. I can't remember this artist's name either. Now, look, I'm an old comics guy. Most of you all know that. Um, but uh, it's a guy who does a lot of, um, a lot of um, variant covers. And a lot of people like him. It's 2016. This is just a Spidey. Uh, variant cover or a <laughs> promotional poster uh, by the artist who does variant covers. Again, can't remember his name. Scotty Young? Is that? I guess that's Scotty Young. I did remember one. Okay. Um, so anyway, it gives you an idea of what's on that poster. Very cool stuff. By the way, um, well, no, I'll just mention that later. All right. Okay, let's see here. What do we got here? We got. Let's do a couple more here and call it a night. This is from 2015. Some of these aren't so old. This one though is interesting. It's it's kind of unusual from the secret from Marvel's Secret Wars uh, event from 2015. Big where monsters dwell poster um, by Stephen Stephen Cho. And I don't remember his name. I was a big fan of his um, Liberty Meadows back in the day, uh, but his first name or last name's Cho. I can't remember his first name now. But uh, very cool poster there. You got the biplane and the pterodactyl. And uh, how much of that can you see there? There you go. And so cool stuff there. Um, so where monsters dwell, Cho, Cho. 
Well, I'll put his name in the uh, tags. I'll find out his name. I'll put him in the tags. You all are out there. Someone's out there screaming his name at me. But anyway, great artist there. Uh, and then let's do one more. Let's do a little bit of a throwback here. Uh, work by one of my um, favorite comic book artists. A property that didn't really take off that well, they, though they did have, I think, upwards to close to 20 issues. This, t this team, DC team, the Power Company, with uh, art by Tom Grummet. And it's a great, great poster. And uh, I liked that series. Had the Manhunter as part of a team there. I think that's the only team the Manhunter has ever been part of. But, uh, so anyway, great looking poster there. But, anyway, so just a few more promo posters. Thought I'd do that for y'all and, and uh, do some more of those and just let you see what's out there. Who knows, again, one day somebody may actually search out comics promo posters on YouTube. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks a lot for watching and and again, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, anyway, we'll see you next video.